Hello everyone, in this video I will make a brief introduction of vCompute C. Uh, first we talk about uh, Chris Humanity at first. Now, so far vCon has released four series PLC, namely 3V, 3VP, 3V, and 3VM. 3V is the basic PLC model, which contains the general function of the PLC. And the 3VP uh, is the so-called so high-speed type PLC. It contains all functions of 3V, but provides high-speed output function. And for 3VE, uh, it provides the motion control function. We call it ECAN. And for 3VM, uh, it provides the circle integration function. Uh, also, it contains all the functions of the 3VE. Now here's the name of the PLC. The 2416 means the I.O. terminal number. Uh, MT means the T means the transistor, R means the relay, and 4H means the expansion high speed output number. 4H means the four channels, 2H means the two channels. And uh, A means the power supply type. A means the AC, D means the DC. And the last number two uh, it, it, it's the instruction set. Instru instruction set. Uh, generally, we all use the LX to n series set. And here's the features of a CV. Uh, first, it's the unique kernel encryption, and the high speed input and the high speed output. And for the high speed input, uh, it can support a uh, two AB phase encoder. And uh, here's the uh, compiled. With the two extra 485 BD board, it can support up to six COM ports. And there is also a micro USB port for programming, download, and uploading. And for all the computers, it can support a PID function. Uh, here's the CVP features. As, uh, as I said before, uh, CVP has small SB output port. Uh, it can support up to up to 200 kilohertz for each channel and uh, also it comes with larger capacity and the so-called n2n protocol and also it can support the one millimeter one millisecond timer uh, as for n2n protocol uh, it's a protocol that uh, used between poc and the poc it can support maximum eight PLC to communicate each other, and uh, less one master PLC and the seven slave PLC, and uh, the master PLC can read the uh, register value from any of the seven PLC, slave PLCs, and uh, uh, the slave PLC can also read the register value from the rest of the seven PLC. Uh, here's the three VE features. Uh, 3 vb also uh, has a 32 kilo step uh, rate of capacity and the uh, motion control and the ECAN. Uh, ECAN is uh, mainly used the flying card and the lottery card. Uh, here's a GIF uh, about the flying card. Uh, you can see flying card, uh, it goes forward and uh, backward again and again. Uh, here's the lottery card. Uh, here's the three VM features. Uh, the interpolation function is the unique function of the three VM, and it can also support the motion control and the ECAN, uh, just like the three VE. Uh, here's a dem. Uh, here's a Picture of the circuit inter interpolation. So far, uh, the circuit interpolation can only support the perfect circle or the arc. If it's, it's a spiral, uh, it cannot be spotted. And uh, here's another new series TLC. We call it CC3V. Uh, CC3V has a better PID calculation uh, than a normal uh, arc series PLC. Uh, because it has a better PID algorithm, so it can 
so it has faster output response and uh, smaller curve. And here's the PLC interface. The, the round one is the RS-422 for communication. And uh, there's also a micro USB for download program or upload program. And we can also use the micro USB port to monitor PLC value. And here we can see two RS-485 COM port, uh, COM1 and COM2. Uh, for the RS-485 COM1, uh, it can only support the Wicom protocol. And then for the COM2, it can support the model bus, RTU, and the ASCA protocol, or the Wicom protocol, or the user defined protocol. And next, we'll talk about the PLC expansion module. Uh, uh, here's the LEX, LEY. Uh, from the name, we can know the function. Uh, EX means the input. Input, uh, input uh, I'll expansion module. And uh, EY means output expansion module. And the R means relay, T means the transistor. And uh, here is the analog expansion module. Uh, WT module is the uh, is the load style and uh, AD is the analog to digital conversion module and the PT is uh, is, is for the temp temperature measuring and the TC means a thermal couple and the PG is the uh, high speed output module. Uh, here's the naming rule. Four means the number of channels. Uh, AD um, is the function code. Uh, here are some keywords uh, of the load cell. The resolution, uh, width calibration, and the gross, gross and net weight uh, adjustable function. And the reset is the function, and the auto zero function. And here is the analog input and output modules. Uh, for uh, for all the uh, uh, expansion module, uh, I mean AD and the DA, it can support the uh, voltage signal or the current current signal. Voltage signal ranges from minus ten volt to ten volts, and the uh, current signal ranges from four milliampere to twenty milliampere, or zero to twenty milliampere. And for the temperature modules, uh, we have for PT, for TC, and uh, for LTC. Uh, for PT, is uh, must connect with the PT sensor, PT one three sensor. And the sensor needed to be a three three wire sensor. The TC uh, uh, is work, works with the some couple. And the difference between the for TC and the for TC is that uh, for TC can output uh, has been output. And can output has be pulse. Uh, the pulse is for is uh, is for the PID control. And then next we talk about the pulse generator module the for PG. The for PG has four pulse output channels. Each channel can control positioning of an uh, axis independently. It works by sending specific quantity of pulse. And there are two versions of for for PG, uh, for PG A and for PG B. Uh, it can support S type acceleration deceleration, and the internal signal speed positioning, the two speed positioning, are available in advanced advanced version. Uh, here's a picture of the PLC after install the bench module. The communication between the PLC and the, the flash module uh, is via the PC. You can see the PC here. Uh, next, we'll talk about BD board. Uh, here are all the BD board we have, we have by far. Uh, there are two size BD board, the small size and the big size. And uh, we can know the function of the BD board uh, from the name, 280 to DA. 
and uh, to PD to DA. So basically, it's the same as, as the expansion module. And then here's the name of the feedboard. Uh, here is the channel number, AD is the function code. And then for the uh, video board, for example, to AD to DA, it can only support 4 to 20 million ampere analog signal. And uh, if it's uh, for, uh, for 2 ADV and 2, A, 2 DAV, it can only support the uh, voltage signal. And the 2BT, 2DA uh, is a combination of the PT, PT uh, and the DA. And the same, same, as the, same for the 2TC and 2DA. And here are three uh, BD bar for communication. Uh, the first one is the RS485. It provides two COM port. And uh, for Ethernet BD bar, it, it provides one Ethernet communication port. It can support the multiple TCP protocol. And uh, also uh, CAM BD bar. It provides one CAM communication port. And uh, here are the uh, two channel BD bar. Including two TCPD, two PDBD, two ADI, and so on. And here is the installation diagram. Uh, from the picture, you can see there's one big size BD board and uh, one small size BD board. And next, we talk about the software feature. Uh, the compute C software can support the uh, uh, encryption. And also, if you use the Wicom HMI Wicom PLC, and then we can download the PLC project via the new disk in, in the Wicom HMI. And uh, we can also generate download only file. It means uh, uh, we can only use this file to download, but uh, cannot check the PLC project. And we also support auto saving settings. And uh, in the feature, you'll see obviously LX5V, we can support FB and FC function, uh, which is more convenient for for programmer. And uh, last, we talk about the application case. Uh, so far, uh, the 3V series PLC are uh, already used in the machinery industry and the uh, energy industry, like the packing machine, uh, like the packing machine, printing machine, rubber machine, sorry, and the textile machine. Uh, uh, for the en energy industry, um, we have uh, used the uh, in the boil boiler treatment, storage control, and water treatment, and so on. And here are also some other areas. And because of coronavirus, uh, we also, uh, uh, we can product is also used in a, in a face mask machine. And the, uh, here's some picture of the face uh, mask packing machine. The uh, mask packing machine is mainly used for the packing of finished masks according to different feeding methods. The system can be applied to different feeding modes. Uh, here's the YouTube link, you can check it by yourself. And here's some picture of the ventilator machine. And also, I attached the YouTube link here. Thank you for watching this video.